Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can install iOS 7. Also, if you guys have been having problems trying to install iOS 7, I'm going to re try to resolve some of those in this video as well. So to start off, the easiest way to do this is just to go into the Settings app on your device, click on the General section, and then click on the section that says Software Update. Depending on how fast your internet is, it may take a while after the checking for Update page. But after that's done loading, you should see a thing that says iOS 7 or iOS 7.0 update now. Now, if you don't see that or it's not letting you install it, I'm going to walk you through a process in a second. But go ahead, if that shows up, and click the update now button and then click install. Now, mine may look a little different than yours just because I had a fresh restore before this. But anyway, it should work fine. Just click the update. You may have to agree to a couple of sets of terms and conditions, but after that, you'll be on your way. Now if you've been having issues updating via the over the airway from straight from your device, here's a way that I think will fix it. So you're going to want to go on your computer and then launch iTunes. Now there's a chance that there may be an update for the iTunes application on your computer, so you're going to have to update that before updating your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad to iOS 7. But after you've done that and iTunes is now up to date, Go ahead and click in the top right of iTunes where all your devices are listed. Click on the device that you want to update and then either click on the check for update or depending on what it says, the update button. For me it already detected that I did have an update for 7.0 so I'm just going to click update. Once you click the update button or check for update, it will prompt you with some sayings, things like, are you sure you want to update, is this what you want to do, do you accept these terms and conditions. And then once you've gone through all that, you actually have to download the entire software to your Mac or PC before you can actually install it on your device. Now that will take a long time. Mine was over a gigabyte for my iPod Touch 5th generation, as you see I was using before, but it will depend on your device. So depending on how your internet is, mine is a fairly quick internet, it's not anything like 100 megs like that, but it's roughly 20 to 30, so it was fairly quick. It took about 15 to 20 minutes just to download that, so of course I'm going to speed it up, because I don't want you guys to have to wait through that. But guys, after the software has been done downloading, you actually have one more step still. It will have to install it on your device, and during the time that it's downloading and installing, I would just leave your device alone, leave it sitting somewhere like I did in this video, just to make sure you don't mess anything up along the way. Now installing is a whole nother process. It takes roughly 10 to 15 minutes once again. Mine took I think about 7, yeah, probably like 15 minutes, just like I said before. So this is a fairly time consuming process if you're going to do it over the computer. Even updating through the mobile, it took me about 20 minutes for the entire process to complete, maybe even more once again depending on your internet speeds. So guys, I didn't want you to have to watch through the whole update process, so I did speed it up a little bit, and I cut through some parts so it won't be as fast as you saw on screen. But anyway, once it's done installing, you can see you've got a welcome screen. It'll say the update was complete, and then you've just got a few more steps to go through. Just fill in a couple of steps, it's very self-exclamatory, and you should have no problems. And then once you're done setting all that up, there's about 5 or 6 cards to go through. You can finally hit the get started button. So here we go, 3, 2, 1, bam, you are now on iOS 7 on your iOS device. I'm sure you guys probably have heard a lot about this, it's a complete major redesign. I'm going to have a tips and tricks video coming for you guys in a little bit. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If it did help you, I would tremendously appreciate if you did take the time to click that like button. Also, share it on Facebook and Twitter if you want other people to know how they can update. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video once again, and I'll catch you guys later.